Hmm. Can you successfully grow Irish potatoes in just perlite? I don't know. Let's put it to the test. Hi, I'm Annette and welcome. We help you to have a productive and beautiful garden, growing food for your everyday use in the kitchen. I really appreciate you being here. And today, we're going to be planting sea potatoes in just perlite. Can it be done? We shall find out. Let's get started. Step one, get a container that's at least 10 to 12 inches deep and big enough that you can plant at least two to four seed potatoes in. Then about two inches from the bottom, drill some small hose, not on the bottom, but all the way around the size, two inches up. And proceed with the same process all the way around on all four sides. The recycling symbol for this container here is a number five, which is acceptable in growing in. Step two is to get some perlite. The perlite is going to be the only growing medium that we're gonna be using in growing it this way this time. When working with perlite, because it's quite dusty, it's always recommended to wear some kind of mask or shield of some sort because we always want to protect our respiratory system or a face mask of some sort. Step three, water the perlite. You want to soak it down really good. Step four is to plant your seed potatoes. So because I don't want to have to be fussing with trying to heal this up in this container, I have chosen a determinate type potato. Now normally your early seasons, your 70 to 90 day potatoes from seed to harvest is usually your determinate type. And then your later ones that takes a lot longer to uh, come to harvest, those are usually your indeterminate type of potatoes. So I got some certified seed potatoes and I was blessed that these have already chitted. Step four is to plant your seed potatoes after they have chitted if you want them to be pre-sprouted. Now, today I'm going to be planting the determinate type called Red Norlin. Now for short term, I'm gonna put the lid on the container just to kind of help retain some humidity and some moisture uh, while it's given time to sprout and start growing up out of the medium. Now, step number five is gonna be the maintenance of these seed potatoes growing in the perlite. Since the perlite does not have any nutritional content to add to the potatoes, we're gonna to have to be adding some fertilizer. We're gonna be doing that later on. I'll be back soon with the update. It is time to give you an update on the Irish potatoes that's growing in just perlite. I'm gonna bring you up close so you can take a good look. I planted four seed potatoes and all four have sprouted. So that's exciting that they have sprouted now. All right, so since perlite does not contain any nutritional value at all, we're gonna have to give it some fertilizer as we go along here. I'm gonna be putting on it today this fish fertilizer. It has an NPK of 511. I put about two tablespoons of this fish fertilizer in a gallon of water. Now it's time to give it some water and nutrients. I'm gonna bring you back for another update soon. See you then. 
Well, it's time for another update, and I have just encountered the very first challenge in growing Irish potatoes in just perlite. It's not the green growth canopy. They look healthy, they're growing well. That's not the problem. This is the challenge, green algae. I don't know if it's a bad thing, if it will hurt the potatoes, but I don't like it. So I'm going to try to get rid of it without disturbing the plants. Okay, so we're off to a fresh start. We'll see what happens from here. I did mulch the top of the perlite with uh, autumn leaves that had been shredded up because sunlight can filter through and cause the potatoes to turn green, which will make them inedible. I'll be back with another update. See you then. The black plastic keeping the light out has helped so far. I'm back with an update. On February the 24th, 2023, I started this fun experiment trying to grow Irish potatoes in perlite. All the foliage has died, so let's see what's on the inside. Okay, so let's see if it works. This right here, you might remember, this is just leaves that I put on top to, for it to help retain more moisture. Oh my goodness, look what poked out of there. I see something red. Okay, I just did this for fun. I think every now and then we need to have something uh, fun growing in the garden. Okay, I'll bring you up close in just a minute. This is the first one I found. Two. Well, I didn't have to dig three far. Three. Four. I was trying to get these leaves off the top. It's been so hot here in Florida. It's been really um easy for all this stuff to dry out so I just put the leaves on top so it wouldn't dry out so quickly this was my first ones that I found right there on top this is number five got the perlite all over it look at there they're kind of small, but you know, this is good for just growing in perlite because they didn't have a lot of nutrition. Perlite is inert, doesn't have any nutrition at all. So the only nutrition it had was when I just fed it a little bit of liquid fertilizer every now and then, and I didn't do that very often either. Little tiny one. Oh, this is a pretty good size. Okay, they're not very deep. They were pretty much closer to the top. And that is, oh, I found another one. I'm thinking that might be the last one.
I can reuse this in the garden some way. Okay, I think that's all of them. Let me show you the harvest. Well, here's my harvest. I got about 14 this size right here. And then a handful of these little baby ones. I planted four potatoes, so my return on my investment was more than what I started out with. Okay, so I'm thankful for this small harvest. You might remember at the beginning, not too long after I planted these, I started having algae growing into the perlite. Of course, it was exposed to sunlight, and so I quickly kind of redid it and put the plastic over the bottom. Let's lift the plastic and see how it looks up underneath. Okay, so not bad at all. Just a little tiny bit right here. Not bad. This right here is the leaves that kind of fell down as I was scooping it up, trying to filter through it. But you can see here, there's really no algae coming through here. Let's turn it around. Here's this side. There's that side. And one more side. Just a little tiny bit right here. Not bad. I hope that this experiment growing potatoes in perlite was not only educational for you, but also that it was fun for you to watch. And if you have not had time to subscribe yet, please take a moment to subscribe. Like and comments is always welcome and appreciated. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.